Hey guys, we're going to work on cross multiplying equations now. These are going to use the same steps as the algebraic equations, except you're just going to cross multiply first. So let's work on our first problem. We have 4 over x is equal to 2 over 7. So you always cross multiply anytime you have two fractions that are equal to each other um, with a variable somewhere in there. You could have multiple variables, but that's whenever you cross multiply. So whenever you cross multiply, you multiply across from each other. So those two will be multiplied together. The 2 and the x will be 2x. And these will be multiplied to each other, which is 4 and 7. And then from here, you simplify and solve. So 2x is equal to, and then 4 times 7 is 28. Because we have 2x and they're multiplied, we're going to divide both sides by 2. And that gives us x is 14. Let's do the second problem. This one's going to have a little bit more algebra in it. So x minus 1 over... 6 is equal to 13 over 19. You still do the same process, though. You cross multiply. And we're going to have 19 times x minus 1. And then 6 times 13. On the left side, we're going to distribute this 19 to everything on the inside. So we'll have 19x minus 19. And then 6 times 13, which is 78. Then you add 19 to both sides to move that one over. Bring that 19x down. 78 plus 19 is 97. Divide both sides by 19 to isolate the variable. And x is... 5.1, um, you can leave it 97 over 19, especially for pre-AP if you're not allowed to use calculators. In level, you are, so you absolutely could divide that, um, which would give you about 5.1. And our last problem, number three, is a little bit more complicated. X minus 20 over 3 is equal to x minus 11 over 18. And we're going to cross multiply. We have 18 times the x minus 20. Cross multiply on this one. So 3 times x minus 11. We need to distribute inside of the parentheses. 18x minus 360 is equal to 3x minus 33. Then we're going to move the 3x to the other side to get all the variables on one side. That gives us 15x minus 360 is equal to negative. Don't forget about that negative. The signs stay with the number that are behind them, so it's negative 33. Add 360 to both sides. So that we cancel those away from the x. 15x is equal to 327. Divide both sides by 15. And if you're in pre-AP and you want to leave it into a fraction, you can reduce this. 3 will go into both the top and the bottom. So that would be 109 over 5 or... If you're in level, you'll have calculators, and you can divide it, which would give you 21, about 21.8. And we're done.